particular person y'all seen on Tiny Desk, I've already studied that man. I call him on the phone, FaceTime him. I know him. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So they, uh, y'all, y'all seeing something that we see. Faith performed like that. He'll do that on his birthday party. The world starts to stress you out. What you do? Put a cancer stick off in your mouth or grab a crew so the stores. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Because, you know, going back to the tiny desk, um, when Scarface did that, I remember how everybody was, like, in so, such a, awe of, like, man, he went so hard. When you first heard it, how did you feel about it? Well, you know, that's that's that's... That wasn't as much as an awe to me as it was that that's phase. That person right there, we see him about them at them manuals and <laughs> at the club. Why and he to, we see that. He greets his father with his hands out. Rehabilitate his slang. Glad to be the man's child. You know what I'm saying? Like we get to see that particular person. Like me and Bum, we got a special coming out today, actually, after really? the Grammys, um, on channel eleven that's back a, home. Okay. To you. Um what is that? CBS mm -hmm. today after the Grammys, well, thing that we done three generations of what? Really, D, Bun B, and me, and we was just explaining how, like, for me, being so away from the East Coast and not being connected to the West as we want to, these were my heroes. I think we cherish, love, and respect our music and our culture probably more than any other city. Yeah, Scarface, Bun B. So that particular person y'all seen on Tiny Desk, I've already studied that man. I call him on the phone, FaceTime him. I know him. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So they, y'all, uh, y'all seeing something that we see, Face performed like that. He'll do that on his birthday party. The world starts to stress you out. What you do? Put a cancer stick off in your mouth or grab a crew so the stores. Yeah, you know, yeah. had a band and be yeah. doing all. So it was great, and my I was more enjoyed about to see the people who hadn't been able to just embrace him like right. that in so long. Exactly. And for him to be getting, I love when we get our flowers yeah. 20 and 30 years later. Yeah. It's very yeah. important. He, I think I think they needed to see that. Cause Beautiful. niggas need to know. Yeah. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You know me from my side of it. Niggas yeah. need to know and understand and respect what's going down with <laughs> yeah. what Scarface can do. Yeah. And because a lot of times I think it was way underrated. I look at them top whatever list that w come out on the East and West, wherever, and I be really aggravated and upset because mm -hmm. certain people ain't on there or because it ain't merited to my perfection but that's all you know that's something the where we gotta we gotta create our own thing down here and i think that's the that's where i'm at with it yeah. pushing information up you that's know beautiful. what i mean that's because beautiful. if we don't do that then we're not doing ourselves justice right. you know yeah. what i'm saying we got the we we got the technology we got the platforms and we just got to do the work and we love our own yeah for, for sure. sure texas for sure. texas was something different though you could all you could you could do it right here in texas been doing it right here in texas you see what i'm saying like texas you could it, Kiki could do whatever, sell how many, right here in Texas. Great. And, and great. a lot of people don't have that. The um, the Texas rap scene and just it allowed it it allowed us to have a, a very a great life, mm -hmm. you know, early. And I'm so glad that I was able to mature inside the game, so I can really. I, I'm living much much better in my older days in my old game than I was now. The young little Kiki is a, a firecracker. It's up. I wouldn't change nothing, but. Being mature and able to last and survive the game and make it right here, it's easy as pie now. Now it's just rolling. Wow. Yeah, because the thing that I, um, I wanted to say about you that I've noticed, you know, just watching the way how you grind and you hustle, when I see a lot of legends, because I, I think of you as a legend, mm -hmm. and I think of other Houston legends, I see how they are sitting back and, you know, reaping the benefits from all the hard work that they've done before. And the way how you are, I know you're still reaping that benefit, but you still grinding like you still got <laughs> shit from back then. Nah, nah, they, nah. they sitting back and just chilling. <laughs> nah, I ain't doing no just, chilling. That, that's what I noticed about you. And I'm like, I think you're one of the only ones that I see that keep pushing out music consistently, keep doing a lot, you know? Well, I was just giving somebody an example about that yesterday, which was based on, um, I don't, I'm very blessed from a financial standpoint. Right. You know, and it's not just saying, because I always think I haven't missed anything that God got for me. I'm a spiritual person. I'm gonna get That's everything real. I'm supposed to get. So I don't make my music all the time from a money standpoint. I make my music to make sure that they're gonna do it again. Like when I do 25 summers, the goal is, are you gonna buy the next thing? I'm killing these niggas that's by the masses. Been holding so long, I'm giving classes. I when I did Legend, 
I knew that they was gonna love 25 Summers based on the reaction that I got from Legend. Pay attention, nigga, Texas is here. Ain't no stunting, hunting money for the rest of the year. Issues. So when I go into my music, I tell the, the, the young artists this all the time. I'm not really worried about the stream, this, what it's gonna do. To, I'm gonna get it. The thing is, keeping my fans excited about the next particular thing that I want to do. I'm running a catalog game. I'm running it up. I'm doing what I need to do. And relevance is everything. You know, these samples that you hear knocking those down and chunk up the deuce and I'm a G and screw and I already want draped out. up and dripped. All these are my samples. And people tell me, man, Key, man, did... did did such and such pay you on this and such and such? Hey man, Drake didn't pay me, Logic didn't pay me for samples. I didn't always get paid for samples, but my relevance, being here today, still being important, still getting booked, still dropping my music, still doing what I need to do, and um, still being called to come do a podcast interview. Y'all don't just want to interview anybody. So relevance is the most important thing, not always the money. The relevance is going to bring you the money. You mm -hmm. are dope because when you look at all of those samples, you, you've you been sampled more than any other artist, really, when it comes down to that screw phase. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, what, it's something out there we don't even know about. I think about that for <laughs> thousands. We like, take them down. We take, we take down <laughs> thousands. You this That's me. Damn. <laughs> We take them down all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, and I, what's crazy is people call me to do features, and sometimes it be one that that been done twenty times. I be like, bro, you know they didn't done that one right there <laughs> by ten times, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm the probably the most sampled artist in Texas, probably most of. But like I say, man, people would think that get under my skin, and it doesn't, man. It, it plays a lot into now. I'm older now. Now, I ain't gonna let you get away with everything. I just let you get away with it. But I'm still, and most important is relevance to me. Wow, man. Uh, so Drake, he just, you said, I heard you say that he just said the. Yeah, he just said he draped, just up, said and draped out. up and dripped out. And still got it right with you. But see, that's a testament if I tell people that's what we're talking about the hard work. People don't understand a lot of things that we're getting now opportunities, hunting lands, rodeos, and all that. It's behind. Not knowing publishing young, not knowing about samples and not knowing all that. Like, I might have missed all that money for them samples early, and then 25 years later, the biggest rapper in the game come pay me for something. Mm -hmm. he, he barely even sampled something I said. He just said something I said, draped up and dripped out. I got Logic, I got Booker T, I got Crown Raw. All these people are tapping into um, my music and sampling it and, and um, what else, licensing it and all these different things, and it's 20 years later, and the best part about it, I own it now. Wow. So when they were sampling and doing all that early, I didn't you own it anyway. Own it. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm reaping the benefits of the samples and the licensing and all that. Man, I didn't crawl raw this year, book a T this year, all type of logic, you know, um, like I just said. So I get the opportunities later. So that's what I'm saying. When you focus on the big game, which is staying relevant and having an opportunity to still keep going, the other things don't fall in place. Everything happens in God's time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.